Hi, my name's Mike from Tribeca Beverage. Today we're going to go over cleaning your water dispenser. Uh, we recommend cleaning the water dispenser every three to six months and uh, it's better off that you do it when the bottle is uh, empty or at least close to empty. Uh, first we're going to remove the bottle. If it has a little bit of water in it, um, try either draining the water um, through the spigots or uh, if you feel comfortable enough you can you can take the bottle off and and flip it upside down with spilling as least water as possible. Uh, the next step is to make sure that the cooler is unplugged and it has no power to it especially just for safety reasons uh, you want to make sure that there's no electrical power to the cooler while you're trying to clean it. The next step is removing the safeguard. Uh, there's multiple different types of safeguards uh, this one, uh, this safeguard, you, uh, you twist uh, counterclockwise and you lift up. And then there's another piece in there. So this is the first piece that comes off. And then there's another little, there's another piece here, which you have to apply a little bit of force and it should pop up just like that. All right, as you can see here, um, there's some dust and uh, has accumulated in, uh, in the, uh, the safeguard here. The air filter on this dispenser is located on the safeguard on the top. Sometimes it's located underneath on the bottoms, uh, on the bottom ring here. But on this model, the air filter is located on the top and you can remove that. Always remove that before cleaning. Uh, put this in the dishwasher or you clean it in the sink using hot water and soap. You can, uh, uh, the baffle separates the, uh, the water from the cold tank and funnels it into the, the hot tank. This can also go in the dishwasher or you can rinse it uh, with soap and water using the same method uh, as the safeguard. Uh, now for cleaning the inside of the reservoir what you want to do is you, you want to uh, boil some water uh, get it to about 220 degrees Fahrenheit which is a boiling temperature that will act as a disinfectant and it'll allow you to clean uh, the inside of the reservoir. The other thing you want to have is a, an abrasive whether it's a, a a sponge or a brush that will um, that you can scrub the inside of the reservoir with. Today I have a, a long brush, something like this, uh, especially when there's boiling water inside the reservoir. Uh, you don't want to burn your hand. I would recommend not using maybe a different glove than this. Uh, you could use the dishwashing gloves, the yellow ones, they're a little bit thicker. In order from preventing uh, your burning your hands, I would recommend using a brush with a, a long uh, handle on it uh, so you don't have to reach your hands into the boiling water, which I wouldn't recommend doing. Um, you could scrub the inside of the reservoir with the brush. Cleaning the reservoir with the uh, bristle brush, you can then drain the water from the reservoir using the cold side. Make sure you use the cold side of the, re of the, of the cooler because you don't want to drain it from the hot side. Uh, the hot side has a hot tank that will not really drain the cooler but it will actually uh, allow the water that's in the cold reservoir to go into the hot reservoir which you don't want. You want to remove the water that you, the boiled water and whatever you cleaned off into a bucket or something that uh, that doesn't go into the cooler but instead goes into the bucket. So make sure you use the cold side. All right, wait till it's fully drained. Right, and then what you wanna do uh, is fill it up again with some nice clean water. Uh, refill the uh, your bucket or um, some kind of glass and, and fill the reservoir back up and pour the water back into the reservoir and then make sure that uh, you rinse that water out again. This will be the final rinse of uh, cleaning your reservoir, making sure everything is, that you've cleaned is now removed 
from uh, the reservoir. And again, when draining that water, use the cold side. If you want, uh, also to clean the exterior, you can spray with some uh, disinfecting spray or uh, just very lightly and, and clean the outside of your cooler using a rag or some paper towels. You can wipe that down. Using the disinfectant spray, you can wipe down the exterior of your cooler. Right, clean the here. After the safeguard and the baffle have came out of the dishwasher or you've uh, cleaned them using uh, soap and water in the sink, you can now reinstall the baffle, making sure it fits snug in there. Now this, uh, the safeguard, you're gonna, uh, on this model, it says you wanna install this side on the front of the cooler, so you wanna make sure that that arrow is facing front. Uh, reinstall the air filter. Put on your um, top here. Twist it and lock it. And now you can uh, replug in your cooler and uh, you are good to go. You have officially cleaned your cooler.